You want to say hi? She does not. And that is because we are back with Vlogmas and she's a little frustrated because today's video is me doing some crafts with very minimal help from her. These craft ideas are great for slightly older kids who can do things more independently or slightly older than her kids um, who can do a lot of things with just a little bit of help. She did help me a little bit with some of these things, but for the most part, I'm just giving you some ideas. All right, for this first craft, you want a piece of black construction paper, at least I think that works best, a um, white crayon, colored pencil marker, something if you wanna sketch your ideas first. You'll need some scissors, some sort of glue, and assorted tissue paper, depending on what you're gonna draw. So one easy way to do this is to just cut out like you would a traditional snowflake, um, and then you'll see what we do with it after. The other thing to do is to just do some basic Christmas shapes, like I'm gonna do the snowman, I'm gonna do a Christmas tree, and then I'm gonna try an ornament. And then, again, you'll want to cut these out like you would if you were making a paper snowflake, um, just so you have a solid hole in the page. So I'm going to do, like I said, just like I would if I was cutting out an actual snowflake. I'm going to cut out the snowman. So this will work best if you're not doing it like a traditional paper snowflake, if you just keep shapes that are symmetrical, because otherwise you're going to have to like poke a hole and cut it out that way, which you can definitely do, but I find this easier. Okay, so it's not perfect, but you can see I have a little ornament, a little Christmas tree, and a little snowman. For the sake of simplicity, I'll go with the snowman first. I'm going to try this. Um, it's kind of glittery, and I'm going to cut out a piece that is just a little bit bigger than my snowman, okay? So if I do it to about here, and then obviously if I go to about the top of the paper, I should be fine. We are using, this one was something that we got in a gift, I don't even know how long ago, which is why it's all wrinkly. Um, you'll want to put, if there's like glitter on it or something that you want on that outside facing, you wanna put it down that way when you turn it over, that side is in the front. But then you're just gonna need your glue stick, and put, or you could use liquid glue. Put plenty of glue around your shape. Ani's here next to me coloring. She wants to have the scissors and the glue. And then you just wanna have it, it doesn't have to be super taut, but in my experience, a little bit taut is better than not. Ah, ha, ha. Okay. So this is what we have. And then if you turn it over, it looks like that. So I'm going to go ahead and zip through doing the rest of these and then we'll check back in at the end. Here is the finished product. Um, obviously there's a bunch of different ways to do this. You can see I added some green stripes here, but they look so cute as little sun catchers. If you want some um, more stability to them or for them to last longer, I definitely recommend laminating. Okay, next one up involves this toilet paper tube that Ani and I painted white together, and we are gonna transform it into a snowman. So first up, a snowman needs a hat. It needs a carrot nose. I'm gonna do some googly eyes instead of coal. And then instead of a scarf, I'm gonna do a bow tie. And I am going to draw on some buttons. So we're gonna start with the hat. I'm gonna use hot glue.
I realize uh, snowmen usually wear scarves, but I just wanted a bow tie to go with the fancy top hat. Okay. And then again, I'm just going to give him his three little cold buttons. I have one of the, the massive Sharpies here. Do them a little irregular since they're cold. I was wondering if this Sharpie would work on this paint. It's not working super great, but there he is! Oh my goodness! I will show you better in a minute. Um, and we will come back once he's dry because I actually have a, another toilet paper tube guy that I want to make. Toilet paper tube penguin? So he is going to get earmuffs and I went ahead and just glued those together already. Give him a chance to dry. Googly eyes, of course, they're a favorite. Goodness, got some glue on there. He's obviously going to have a beak. And I'm gonna give him some feet. So I think I'm gonna start with his feet. I feel like you could very easily do like a Santa and a Mrs. Claus. There's lots of little uh, toilet paper tube characters you could do. But there is our penguin. He came out pretty cute. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, I may or may not give him construction paper wings. Hmm. All right, I decided Chili Willy did need some wings, so I cut out some little wings and I went ahead and folded them over just a bit. Um, that way they can kind of stand apart from his body. So we're gonna just do a little bit of hot glue. Put some hot glue on that little flap. And then we're gonna attach them. Okay, he's got one. I'm gonna turn him this way. And we're gonna put the other one on. So I'm just putting a really thin. And the only reason I'm using hot glue is because I already have it out and ready. And I like working with what I have already available. Alright. So this glue back here is dried. That's alright. Okay. And there is our chili willy. Oh my goodness. I really like this guy. He came out super cute. See his wings on the table, but there he is. All right, these first two ideas, Ani and I did together. I did not remember to record them as I did them, but they are simple enough that I think you'll get the concept. First one, I got this idea from from Valerie Santos. It is a gingerbread house made out of popsicle sticks, and then whatever decorations you have. We did a baby one because I had some smaller popsicle sticks, and a mommy one. But all you're going to do is lay them out. I'll show you the back. Um, lay them out. Obviously you can see that we made this one for mama from the two of us. Lay two popsicle sticks down horizontally and then see how many it takes to vertically cover them. You're going to hot glue them to these and then when that's dry, turn it over and you just hot glue the roof on. Oh my, Ani's in the background playing, if you can't tell from the noise. Um, but these came out super cute. They were really easy. If you didn't want to do paints, it would definitely work to use marker. Um, crayon might even work on the popsicle sticks as well. And then the next one we did, we were outside on a walk. Ani kept picking up sticks and handing them to me. So when we got inside, I laid them down in size order. And then obviously I did the gluing without her because it's hot glue. I hot glued them to this big popsicle stick. And she wanted to do some painting, so we painted them together all green. And then I just hot glued a star on the top and added a little brown stump at the bottom. And then this little hook is where it hangs from the tree. 
So this one was super easy. This would be great for an older kid. You might even be able to get away with using like Elmer's or something other than hot glue. I'm not sure. But this looked really cute before we painted it as well. All right, guys, those are the five craft ideas that I had. Hopefully you found a fun one that you guys can do as a family or that your kiddos can do independently while you do whatever you need to get done. Hopefully you have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.